Okay, to so, to actually fix the radio um, on the Jeep, it's a 2000 Cherokee Sport. It's a uh, brown and it's more of a brownish tan and with a red stripe and a green. And if you come down here and actually take apart the assembly, you're going to need a um, 7 16 bolt on the back and then unscrew the two uh, floorboard so that comes up and the whole th member will pop out. Once you're down inside there, there's three harnesses, one, two, and a third one. If you take the third one, they slide off this rail back here, they actually pop up off the rail. If you come over to the third one, it's actually the wire cluster. If you pop it open, you're looking, it's these two on closest, top left, if you're looking at it in the camera. Those wires are part of that, and that's where the speaker is. Up here, you're gonna find a rubber grommet type thing harness. I just poked a hole in it with an, with a coat hanger. Then I ran the coat hanger through. You can see I made a little loop back in it after puncturing a hole in that top rubber piece. And uh, once that's done, I'm gonna pull this back through and basically run my new speaker wire um, and that's basically how you do it. But what, I, what I'm doing is tapping into that color off. Once I pop the harness, I'm gonna trace that green and tan and red right here, the ones right in front. And I'm actually gonna splice into those and then tie this speaker wire into that. And then I'm gonna run the speaker wire back through the door to the new one. It's basically shot somewhere in here. I don't know whether Chrysler cheaped out and uh, went with shitty wire or air because obviously the passenger door doesn't do it at the same time so um, that's it hit me up with the questions down here if you got any questions peace